husbands and wives that got divorced after 20 years of marriage, what made you decide to change your mind after all that time? He tried to kill me, which is impolite. How rude. It sorely tested my patience, it did. In bird culture, that is what we call a dick move. There's a guy in my town that everyone knows about because he owns this huge ass mansion in a middle class neighborhood. Apparently he was married to a woman for a long time, but she left him calling him a loser because his business hadn't taken off yet. After she left him, his business finally took off. He sells medical equipment to hospitals and he became a few levels of rich in a few years. The reason he built the mansion in that neighborhood was because that is where she lives, so she has to drive by the mansion on her way to work every day r slash pro revenge my parents got divorced after 22 years of marriage they were never in love and didn't even like each other they had me and then my sister a few years later and wanted to stay together for the kids 12 years after i was born they had my brother and that kept the cycle going i wish i could say they are happy now but they still like to cause trouble for each other we're due with our first child soon and they're gonna have to figure out how to be grandparents together Thankfully I'm 1500 miles from them so it won't be a headache often. She cheated for years, plain and simple. Ended our 22-year marriage. To be honest, don't even want to work through it. Now that we've separated for a while, I realize how toxic she'd become. I'm a much better man without her. Happy for you. Thanks internet stranger. Tired of him cheating on me, the last time was the last time. Great username. Married for 27 years. He picked up a shotgun and aimed it at my daughter and me. Police took him away. I would say you dodged a bullet with that one, but Jesus. Glad you are well enough to be on Reddit. LOL, yes. I don't know how well I am though. I have actually considered going back with him at certain times. Just visualize him holding a gun up at your daughter if you feel like going back. My dad stopped paying the mortgage and didn't tell anybody. Divorced. Finally, I'm being honest. Hers was bigger than mine. I love how it was always the other person's fault on Reddit when people break up. Every thread, every comment, I was trying so hard to be the perfect husband or wife, but she or he was just so self-absorbed, cheating etc. I was so patient. What else could I do? Oh, poor Reddit, here's an internet hug for you. Oh, the downvotes make my comments so true. She didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel. She got her driver's license. She cheated on me. Not much coming back from that shrugs. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yep, she cheated on her new man too. Twice a cheater, always a cheater. She cheated on the guy she used to cheat with as well. Thrice a cheater, always a cheater. Well funny story. My parents were high school sweethearts and married for 22 years. Then they got divorced when I was six. My dad remarried and had another kid and got divorced again. My mom never did. Fast forward about 30 years. I got married. My parents were in the same room for the first time in 30 years and were flirting like teenagers. I have video of it. It really is pretty amusing to watch. Until I remember it's my parents. They have been dating since I got married. That was more than 5 years ago. They are virtually living together, and both of them think it's funny to allude to their sex life around me, so that I'll be embarrassed. Which still works, despite my age. As to your question. My mom says that my dad is mellowed and turned into not a bad guy. My dad says my mom is exactly the same, except her waist. I think they both never found anyone they liked as much as each other. Or hated as much as each other. And if that isn't marriage, I don't know what the hell is. Love your last paragraph. Marriage is the funny combination of love and hate, sometimes at the same time. If you're lucky, the love is the more prevalent emotion. Didn't get divorced but started the process after about 25 years. Stuck it out for a few more years for the kids and ended up falling in love with her after the kids moved out. Relationships follow cycles, so glad I stuck it out. Stories like this give me hope. Would love to hear some of your tips on how you made the relationship work again. Find humor and disagreement, within reason. Some issues are serious, but the ones that most often get on people's nerves are usually pretty funny. Tell her or him you love them, and that you can't wait until you're not angry anymore. Also. Eat. And don't keep score.
Not me, but my grandmother once told me that she was considering divorcing her husband of over 50 years. The reason she gave me was, we stayed together for the kids. Now the kids are all grown up and have lives of their own. And now I can't ignore the small things about him, my grandpa, that annoy me. She didn't go through with it, but she seemed sincere when she said it. It broke my heart, especially since I only ever saw the best side of him. From what I can tell from these stories, marriage is really foolish and pretty pointless. All it does is trap you with someone who you might hate in five years after the wedding. F that. Thanks for sharing everyone. I am officially never getting married. Edit. I'm going to assume that the down votes are coming from people with failed marriages. My parents split up after nearly 30 years. My dad was an asshole my entire life, so when they finally divorced when I was 18, there was no surprise. He'd been cheating for years and I think he was the one who finally asked for it. I think my mom stayed because she couldn't afford to start over. She spent her life putting my dad through school and wasn't educated herself. She had no family or anyone who could help her either. There was definitely some confidence issues on her part too. Is your mom doing okay now? It's been about six years and I've never seen my mom as happy as she is now. Gaining so much independence was a huge confidence booster for her. Thanks for asking. My husband began surreptitiously going to strip clubs. He stole about $200 a week from various accounts and a business I owned to fund these activities. He lost his job because he went there so often at lunch and would just stay. We had young kids and so I stayed after he got some therapy. He was never honest with the therapist. About a year ago I learned he was doing it again. Plus texting strippers. My youngest kid graduates high school this year. I've done what's best for everyone else for 20 years now. This September was 21 years. I don't anticipate having a 22nd anniversary. It's really scary to think of being alone. I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. I know he will feel very sad and lonely when I'm gone. But being near him feels like having my soul ripped from my body every day. I'm so sorry. But you know that you did your best, and nothing is better than best. If that's what he wants to do, he has to deal with those consequences, and so do you sadly. But you can do it. You even got a therapist which shows great initiative. I believe in you, you got this. Reddit Story Topper. Subscribe now.